not an easy introduction for me because it's so difficult for me to come up with the right words to describe our keynote speaker. When I came to Atlanta five years ago, I was at an agency, um, and six months later, I moved on to our common welfare. And in making that move, um, that was the first time that I came in contact with Mr. Michael Banner, who was the uh, director of prevention services there. Now, had it not been for the supervision that he gave me around adjusting to the culture down here, I don't know if I would have been able to stay. All right, because, and, and this is the truth, because I'm from New York. The agencies operate completely different up there, okay? The structure, the discipline, the requirements that's placed on people is completely different. And when I got down here, that's what I was looking for, you know? So I came in the door to, to help coordinate a program, and my thing was, well, where they at? Do the work. Move now. No, I want it now, not later. And Michael said, hold it. <laughs> he said, hold on. Slow down. This is Georgia. <laughs> we do things just a little bit slower. But we get it done. And the quality is top shelf quality. So actually what I'm trying to say is had it not been for Michael, my adjustment would have been a lot more difficult than it actually was. Um, and going on from there, I've just interacted with Michael in so many different capacities and I see him as a really valuable friend. I see him as an awesome resource in the community. Um, and I'm really honored to have him as our keynote speaker for this event tonight. I introduce Mr. Michael Banner. historic moment in your journey. Uh, I want to acknowledge the, prep, the beauty of this, this church and this ability to support such a worthy cause. And I want to acknowledge the presence of the support 
and the community uh, representatives that's here to support us as we go through this, this evening of, of, of activities. My sincere kudos to, uh, to you, my folks, uh, the honorees for tonight's event. Stand with the theme of tonight's meeting, of meeting the challenge one step at a time. I'm humbled. I'm absolutely humbled for the opportunity to stand here because uh, it mirrors my experience. You know, I've been down this road before. I know what it's like. I've talked to a few people that's part of this program. Uh, I'm going to call them names. They, they talked about the challenges of the program. They talked about a one staff member in particular that was a, a real thorn in the side. <laughs> but I think that if we look around the room at you tonight, you see the fruits of your labor. Uh, you collectively have shared moments of tremendous hope during this process. You face setbacks and moments of self-doubt. I'm sure you question some of the stuff that John, I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you question some of the stuff that they wanted you to do. <laughs> Your struggles have become a test of whether people that's diagnosed with HIV and substance abuse can actually stop using and find a new way of life and not just do that for a short period of time, but do it for the long run. And that's what's so important. Dealing with substance abuse along with physical and emotional challenges that are uh, presented with HIV is not easy. And we need a special supportive environment in which to do that. And I need to acknowledge a positive impact and this vision for making that happen. Tonight, the focus of my remarks will be toward the brave individuals that have endured the, the rigors of the impact program this year. Those individuals that got to the end of the road and cried out for help and were willing to embrace the recovery process. I hope that our collective lived experiences on display here tonight will bear witness to the glory and the power of the Creator. It is my hope that there are some sense of identification that you can sort of identify some of my journey in addiction with your journey, and that we can leave here inspired by each other. Uh, and it's so ironic that uh, it's March the 25th, and my journey actually started in March in 1996. Uh, March the 19th, 1996, that's when I came to terms with my reality of dealing with not HIV, but AIDS. And I, uh, March 19th, 1996 was also the day that I last used uh, crack or any other illegal mm -hmm. drugs. I didn't stop doing drugs. I was dropping about 10 pills a day. <laughs> and I stopped using all those illegal drugs. <laughs> 